So this is the movement that I would imagine a lot of you are familiar with. Some of you will love it, some of you will hate it. But we're going to go through our squat pattern, whether you like it or not, to be honest. To start with, we're bringing our feet to a comfortable width apart. It doesn't have to be shoulder width, but I would recommend turning the toes away slightly to 11 or one o'clock, perhaps 10 and two, if you feel like you're a bit tighter through this mid to hip section. Hands go wherever you feel comfortable. Some prefer the prisoner position. I prefer letting the hands fall loose at my sides. We're going to be dropping vertically down, which means we're going to imagine sitting down onto a chair behind us, dropping in, pausing at the bottom before pressing back up to the top, okay? Nice and relaxed through, inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way out. We're controlling the breathing through, going in on the way down, exhaling on the way out. For those of you using our beginner plan, you're going to be performing a squat sit to reach on a box. As demonstrated before, hands wherever feel comfortable, feet just beyond shoulder width, perhaps to 11 or 10 o'clock on the left side, one to two o'clock on the right side. We're going to be dropping down onto the chair, losing tension through, focusing on moving upwards on the concentric portion. On the eccentric, we're dropping nice and slow, taking tension off before again engaging on the way up. 